guys, ignore what's going on in the background at the bottom. For some reason, the Armored Warfare is not being captured in any way, shape, or form, other than window borderless, and this is what happened because they still haven't fixed it. Anyway, we're going to take a look at the new tank today. We're going to be taking a look at an artillery piece. We're going to be taking a look at the uh, 2S1 Rovoska. I hope I pronounced that properly. Uh, a friend of mine from the Ukraine helped me with the pronunciation. Gross Vodka. Oh, no. It's Gross... Gross Dika? Gross like Gross Dika? Anyway. And, um, unfortunately, it's actually misspelled. It's actually G-O-V-Z-D-I-K-A. It's not an S. It's actually misspelled. And, of course, I've already gone ahead and got Freya from the M109. And my current goal... And, yes, she is maxed out, as you can see. I'm, my, my main current goal with uh, uh, the, the 2S1 is to actually get uh, Juan Carlos Merriman. Is to get Juan Carlos. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get him today. Uh, I've already gone ahead and got a lot of unlocks for the tank. We'll, 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 no, that's dealers. We're going to go to the um, unlock. As you can see, I've got all the retrofit slots unlocked for it, including the gyroscopic stabilizers. The only thing I don't have yet to unlock for this tank is the engine and, of course, uh, Juan Carlo, along with the little credit bundles you get there. So we're going to go into PVE. And yes, guys, I do know I, ha I have more than enough convertible RP. I just don't have the uh, gold yet. Okay, guys, we are on Operation Harbinger. Ooh. I believe this, this uh, is a map that's not exactly nice to artillery. I believe this is the one with the rocky terrain either side where you've got lots of uh, French uh, wheeled tank destroyers hiding on the, the edges along with, I think it's like a, a one artillery piece. Uh, it's usually uh, either a, an Abbott or an M109 camping on the corner there. Again, we're waiting for this to load. No, this is the other map. Ah, this one's even worse for artillery because of the, the bridges and whatnot that are in the way. So, let's see, where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? I'm probably going to head over in, uh, up here, to my left, to gain a little bit of height advantage, maybe? I didn't do it, I swear, that house Black just company. magically Move fell into apart. The town square. The lion's okay, we've got a chief to come on fire for two seventy euro, and it's just the or kidnapping and harassment. Oh, nice. we've got Clear the mountain. Five as well. We have intel that some VIPs are trying to convoy out of the town once they heard you were coming. Consider them high priority targets, and do I'm not let them escape. Yeah, we took a hit, but we also destroyed. Really, Chieftain? Why are you behind me? You fucking monkey. Yes, I am actually shooting them <laughs> unscoped. <laughs> <Target down. laughs> you know it's bad when your artillery has more kills than the main battle tanks. Up. So you're just going to abandon your artillery. Wow, oh, some players, man. I love Obsidian, but you can't code in stupid. Trust me, 
You can't code in, stupid. I know you guys try. I, I honestly know you guys do try, but you just can't code, stupid. Penetrated. And I think the Gravishka doesn't even do that much damage. Upgraded M60A3, which is a rank 5. I get an F shot. Holy Target hit! Uh, I'll go for the M60. Good hit! Ooh Now both. That was a good shot. I got that boom boom pow, I got that mm mm. Have a look. I got that boom boom pow, I got that boom boom. Up! Oh. Sorry, I've got black IP stuck in my head. Oh wait, Audie just did the With second the majority objective of their leadership too. gone, yeah. it should keep the lions quiet for a while. Good work, black company. So not only did I do the secondary objective, not only do I have more kills than the objectives. Jesus Christ. Stock it down. Unreal, pinch me, pinch me, please. This is insane. Oh my gosh, I've got more kills than the chieftain and the Leo combined. Oh. And here I was getting ready to write up a great big FU Obsidian Entertainment article asking them to buff the uh, uh, artillery. And honestly, I think this video is literally going to say, yeah, no, don't do that now. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, good gosh. Target hit. Oh, oh good golly, Miss Molly. Oh, my dear Lord. That was a fun game, GG. Oh, someone better send jingles this video. I'm serious. Oh, good lord. Good work, Black Company. Because he just did a video Hold your position uh, and wait for civilian on artillery. We're taking out the bridge so nothing can endanger the rescue operation. Good lord. <laughs> Just rip. <laughs> rip there, my guess. Oh, this is actually making me want to go back to playing artillery in World of Tanks. Just just for a brief second there. And then I realise what the hell I just said and I'm like, what? <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, daily mission done. Resupplies. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Let's see. Do we have enough for our... We do. One Galos. Let's go to our commanders real quick. Take a look at him. One Carlos Miraman. I'm going to swap speed increased by 20%. Okay, let's grab him real quick. He's got take aim, increase aim speed by 10%. Bullseye, max. Uh, okay, quick. Increased acceleration of off road, off road environments by 15% after 15 seconds, even though that's the wrong icon. Uh, anti personal explosive crew damage caused to enemies increased by 20%. Anti material explosive module damage caused by, by another 20%. Fire when ready, reload time reduced by 10%. Okay, so they get it and bug it up on some of the icons. So he's from Mexico. As a team, one unwillingly served in the Mexican drug cartels where he demonstrated an aptitude with me machines and capability of improving. Improvising ingenious armored vehicles that and weaponry, one escaped to the U.S. and was quickly employed by by a PMC. Soon, discovering a talent for command, with intimate knowledge of his of his vehicles and good intuition, he's rarely stranded in a battle. Ooh, we'll soon see Juan from that uh, uh, core destruction of those tanks. And uh, I'm going to go through and explain some of the things that I have on my crew. Now, the crew has reached rank two, and of course, the you know, and um, uh, rapid reload for my artillery piece. I was using Freya. I've now just unlocked Juan Carlos, as you can see. So I'm going to start using Carlos as my my artilleries. Now, retrofits. I actually have the gyro uh, gyroscopic stabilizers, the magnetic acuitors. And the intercom systems. Now, most people go, why the intercom systems? Because it's an extra 6.25% to your reload, to your aim time, to your driving, to your acceleration, to your braking, to your turret traverse, to your hull traverse. It's just a general overround, <coughs> excuse me, big buff. You grant it, it doesn't apply to damage. But that's where things like your magnetic acuitator, which does 3.3 .3 damage, and your, uh, 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 again, do you see what I'm saying? Dual stat mods are always good to replace uh, single stat mods with. For example, if I really wanted to go with firepower, most people, most particularly Jingles, goes with the experimental propellant because it's uh, it's a passive five percent. However, I personally wouldn't do that. Uh, simply put, putting a single stat mod on there isn't that good. You want to look for the dual stat mods, um, like uh, the enhanced shell materials. Those are a perfect. A, a dual stat mod to put in your in your uh, firepower slot, reload time and moving accuracy. Think about it. How many times have you had to take a snapshot to defend yourself while trying to pull back as a great big rush of tanks pulls up on you? So obviously, enhanced shell mechanics, uh, shell materials would be a good thing. Gives you reload and the ability to shoot on the move. I'm looking at you, Leopard ones. Mm mm mm. Exactly, chrome line barrels. Again, you want it does damage and a minimum accuracy increase. Just see, you always want on again magnetic acuity. You always want to look at the dual stat mods, not the single stat mods, because why put one thing in that only boosts one when you don't need it? You're better off boosting everything as a whole. One of the things I've noticed when it comes to uh, armored warfare is where it says your damage is sustained per minute of 1,190. That is fictitious, okay? I mean, I've shot at tanks that only have two hit points. Knowing I'm going to do average of 200 and only do one point of damage to them, I'm like, what the hell? It's almost impossible to one-shot an enemy tank unless you hit them in the ammo rack. And even then, most ammo racks have a passive 25% increase to their hit points, so you cannot be one-shotted. Because not everyone enjoys being one shot in games. You know, unless you're playing on uh, a War Thunder, of course, and that's a different story. But the point is, uh, Obsidian seriously needs to work on that. Okay, if, for example, my Starship, let's take a look at my, my, my Starship real quick. 
Okay, my starship will do over 3,000 damage in a minute. That should tell you something. Yes, I know I've said this. You can go for the single dual stats, and I have. But that's for a reason, and I do plan on changing that here soon. Now, my biggest gripe is if I'm going to do an average of 500 alpha to a tank that has 300 hit points, why did I not do my full 500 average alpha? That I'm not doing my 3,000 hit points per minute then, am I? Do you see? Exactly. Now it's just clicked in your head like, oh yeah. What the hell? Exactly. See, at least in World of Tanks, when you aim at a tank, you know your gun is going to do anywhere between 10% uh, less of your maximum up to 10% more of your maximum. So you know if the enemy tanks at 100 hit points and you do 200 alpha, you know you're going to kill them. You know you're not going to hit it and leave them on 50 freaking hit points. Do you see? You know you're going to wreck them. You cannot say that with any certainty whatsoever here in Armored Warfare. Because somehow, in some weird shady way, your tank will do 900 alpha, they're at 300 hit points, you're standing there going, num, 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 I'm going to freaking one-shot you. All of a sudden, boom, boom, you only do 200 alpha, 200 alpha to him. Uh, what the hell, you know? Exactly. So I'm not the only one that happens. it happens to. Because it happens to all of my other clan, clansmen here. And yes, I do own a battalion. I'm the battalion leader of CNDS. That's Cobra Nation Death Squad. Um, as you can see, we are growing in size. You know, It's happened to myself. It's happened to Crypto. It's happened to Warhammer. It's happened to quite a lot of my tankers. And we just want to know why, Obsidian. We want to know why okay guys anyway if you enjoyed this video and my little tangent rant in between give the video a like a thumbs up and all that fun stuff uh simple racket consumables repair kit first aid fire extinguisher and the mid-tier field maintenance kit again the maintenance kit you cannot take into with a PD pvp but i like to make sure that my tank is fully upgraded before i even take it into pvp uh reason being is you earn a lot more rep doing pvp than you do pve which makes sense. And so I would rather go with survivability than, than um, going with a virgin tank against tankers I know that are already maxed out, you know. Especially if my, my basic AP round cannot even penetrate my the target and he's got heat and everything. You know, it just makes sense to do a whole bunch of PvE first. Get a whole bunch of unlocks underneath your, your in your research tree, in the upgrade tree, sorry. Uh, under your belt, you know, like like the ammunition choice, at least at least the retrofit slots, so you can at least stay a little bit competitive, uh, and then go into PvP to power, you know, to level up your uh, uh, crew and your commander. That's exactly what I do, especially if it's a new commander. Uh, I, I do not take a commander below rank two into any PvP because if you've noticed, all of my commanders, with the exception of one, is above rank two. Okay, even the useless one, Anthony Diaz. This guy's the most useless freaking... Who's going to purposely want to lose their crewman? I mean, seriously, he... Yeah, just, what the hell are you... No, man. No. No, seriously, take a look at this Anthony Diaz commander and just cry, because he's a joke. Okay? So, again, guys, that's what I like to do, is I like to take a, a get an experienced commander. Again, you know... Oh, so that's pretty much it, guys. On the um, 2S1 Grovzika, because there's a Z, not an S. It's actually misspelled. Again, Obsidian, you misspelled it. It's a Z, not an S. But anyway, guys, until then, keep your flying, keep your enemies down, your couple of commanders out, and I'll see you guys in the next one, and I really hope you enjoyed the video. Till then, take care, my friends.